Hello guys, put some music here. So in this video I will show you how you can set up CSGO acceleration curve on Rock Cell. First off, I'm gonna have to do a big thanks to City Carp. Thank you man for great tip. So there's actually a guide how you can set up CSGO acceleration on Rock Cell. That's on the github download page of Rauxel this is the style that's found in CSGO and search engine games so when you set up you can do you need to do kind of a mat here that's divide 1000 to the in-game FPS so first off you're gonna go to your Rauxel and put on the power curve the power curve is the CSGO acceleration curve the same you see here, go here. This is the kind of the acceleration curve that's using on CSGO. So, here on my CSGO, you can see that when you type M custom Excel, there's going to be this exponent value here. Acceleration that uh, everybody uses on CSGO is M custom Excel 3. Now my acceleration is enabled. There's actually two accelerations going on, so I'm going to disable here. Because I disable here, my DPI went to the same, it's 800. So I need to put my mouse DPI in 400. So it does not feel weird. Okay, now it's good. So right now, let me see. My standard one value that comes to the game is 1.05 exponent. So if you want to translate this to raw cell, you need to see it is exponent here. Go into power curve. I'm gonna enable. I'm gonna put sense multiplier on one. And you're gonna go to exponent here. On the exponent value, you're gonna put zero zero five because your exponent is zero five here. So it's zero five. Now your raw cell uh, acceleration is kind of the same. Let's go. There's one thing you need to do. That's the math thing. So my in-game FPS average on DMs and competitive games hovers around 250 and 300 FPS. So, so what do you need to do? You're gonna take this average. I already did here. My average is 250. I'm gonna take your 1,000 and divide by your average FPS. My average FPS is four. Uh, it's 250. Sorry. So when I divide to 1000, it's actually 4. And this 4 value, you're going to put it on scale. 4. And apply. So now, this curve here is the same as the CSGO acceleration. So I'm just going to disable here. 0 to disable. So it feels like feels just, just like the CSGO curve. It's great for people that want to use the CSGO acceleration curve on other games. And people that just... Do not want to use the in-game acceleration. Right now I, I am using 400 dpi so... So my acceleration here is just like Shantari's one. That's 2.0 sensitivity and 1.05 of acceleration. So it feels pretty good. So if your exponent is higher, there's people that use higher exponents on CSGO, like uh, 1.1, exponent 1.1, you're going to put uh, 0.1 here, just the right number here. You're going to ignore this one here and put just this, this on the right. So it's going to be 0 0.1. So let's say my FPS average is 150. I have a weaker PC, so you're going to... Divide 1000 to 150, and your exponent is going to be higher. 6 here. I put 6.6. 6. So I'm not going to put this, I'm going to feel weird. I'm going to go back to my original settings. And that's it, guys. That's how you set up a CSGO acceleration curve on Rauk Cell. Make sure that you disable CSGO acceleration when using Rauk Cell. You put this comment here. So you don't have two acceleration going on. That's gonna feel really weird on your game. 
And uh, a big thanks again to City Carp for helping us, for telling us this amazing tip. So that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you want more. Enjoy.